Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have upgraded. Went from a 200 gallon sprayer to 1,050 gallons. Hey, right, Dodge. Huh? Congratulations, you're a 13.14% <laughs> owner of this sprayer. Woohoo. Dad's 25% and mom is the majority owner. <laughs> Um, a little introduction. I don't think Ty ever really gave you guys one. Um, I'm Lizzie, Ty's wife. Um, and I was raised on a farm just about 25 to 30 minutes west of here, depending on how many stoplights I hit. Um, and so I still help my dad with that. And then just like Tyler, I work off the farm too. Um, help make some more money to help pay for the farm. Um, but then I also helped my dad put in some field tiles, so that keeps me pretty busy all summer long. Um, and usually Dodger Man there will go with me sometimes. Um, so that's a little bit about me. Uh, we stay pretty busy pretty much all summer long, both Ty and I do. Um, but we love it. It's good for us. Have fun. Hope you guys continue to tag along. Uh, if I don't see you this video, I'll see you next one. So we got the sprayer hooked up to the 6R. As you can see, we're just filling it up right now with water. We're gonna give a little test run and see how it works. It's a 2018, looks pretty sharp. And learn it and work out all the headaches we have with it. So we never had a sprayer of this caliber before. A lot of wires, a lot of controls, and well, kind of confusing. I know it probably doesn't look like it, but we got a new sprayer, again. Same model, same type same number just different we could not get the other one to work control wise can get the pump to come on so we sent her back and found one on marketplace just like it from someone who knew how to use it and i think we'll be okay with this one we're gonna go get an applicator to go side dress corn Good afternoon, so we're getting ready to haul the last two tanks of 28 for the guys. So we're going to go on a long boring road trip to Republic again. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself back in it. Okay, so we're on our last tank. Bummer is I hauled this with my truck last time, so I have to put the jack down so it fits on ties. So, yeah. But last tank, hopefully, unless we find another one somewhere hidden. Um, and then we'll go from there. Yay. Also, got it on the first-ish try, unhooking the other one. So that's a plus. Ready? Side dressing. It's a beautiful Friday evening. My partner here is out. So, just me tonight. So, yes, yet another eventful sunny day. The applicator drive tire was flat last night, so we took it in this morning and got a new tube in it. Got a foot pedal switch for the sprayer and we're gonna install it. Well, good news is we finally got the spray, but somehow I gotta keep the pump engaged. So I think we should cut something to fit in here so that stays forward, I assume. We're not all too familiar with these newer tractors yet. But we had water coming out, so that's the first. Well, after four days and two sprayers, we finally got it figured out. Well, I'd say by 95%, but we're sitting a lot better than we were four days ago so so far in a better mood you gotta get that applicator out of the way we're gonna back this up there and fill her up here's the new outfit everybody two on applicators this year this one has a pretty bad leak at the pump so we're gonna take this to the elevator and they can fix it tomorrow
Might be a good idea if I open this. Try to. Field looks pretty darn good. I'm actually really impressed. <laughs> this was tile would even be way better. It's like super weird seeing a cornfield planted with straight rows. That's our field. Look how impressive that is. Dad did a great job. We found a goodie. Just looking for that. While I'm on the last field of side dressing, it's a 60 acre field that only had tiled last year. Um, I'm in the 6R 195. It's a step up from the 4430 we had last year. Um, I'd say it's a little bit more comfortable. It's a lot bigger. Seems like it's way too big for side dressing, but it's the only real crop tractor we had to side dress with. So I would say I'd miss the 4430. This is the turning radius, smaller tires, and I feel less uh, guilt running over corn with it, but this has its perks, it's nice. So I'm definitely looking forward to being done with side dressing. It's not my favorite job to do. Twin real corn, that's a nice touch, Dad. I literally ran out with like one round to go. Figures. Anyways, we're gonna go check on Dad. First time with the sprayers. We're still learning. But so far it's working pretty good and I'm hoping it saves us a lot of money in the future. Next time I do a little field turn I'm session control off so it's hard to tell what's spraying and what's not spraying in small little fields like that. Mm -hmm. And just like that, we're good. Woohoo! So, last tank good, unhooked. Um, we're gonna head back and see if Ty's ready to move the toolbar back, wherever that goes. Um, and then see what happens from there. I know I have a whole thing of seed left that we need to take out of the back of the truck, but we should be good. Almost there. Hey. You want to see you throw it? Throw it. Good throw. Hey, who'd you lose? We're gonna get an Oompa Loompa here hooked on the sprayer. So right now I got the mower hooked on to me, so I'm gonna take it over to the different farm and unhook that. And we just got back from vacation from North Carolina, so now we're gonna jump right into wheat harvest. So we went and got the head today, sent the wife over to Ag Pro to get some parts, and when she gets back, we'll get them put on. How's she look? Rusty. Understandable. All the knives there. Thought I was missing a knife, maybe I wasn't. 